Welcome back creators to another Toon Squid tutorial. Quickly open our application and we will look for an image in our gallery that we want to utilize in our animation. This image is for reference only. A Pigma brush and a light color from a color palette. The light color is a sketch, then when outline it, I will outline it with black, that way it will go above of it and I will distinguish between them too. Now you can see when I started outlining how sharp the image is becoming. Remember in this step that we have to separate all the parts of our character by layers. I started with the head and I named the layer head side view. Then I move on to the body and I named that layer as well. And then we keep going with the rest of the layers and naming each one at a time, taking our time to not mix it up because this is crucial for your animation. All of these layers will have side view in the name because if you want to expand your animation, it will come handy to identify the position of your character once you started to put it into the hierarchy. If you have multiple characters, Toon Squid offer multiple color palettes that you could customize accordingly with the colors of your characters. All you need to do is upload your image, take the dropper and pick the colors and save them in the color palette. To make it easy when painting your layers, you could isolate that layer and close the eyes of the other ones that way you don't get it messed up when you are applying color. Remember to position your layers accordingly to the body. If you don't want to see two arms in the front, you need to move one to the back, that way it looks normal. I'm adding some shade and light to my layers. I know sometimes many animators don't do this step. I kinda like how it looks so I continue using it but it's up to you, um, depends on what you want. Now that we are almost done with our coloring, we started to move into the pivot points. Pivot points are like the joints in the body and you have to position them accordingly to make your animation more realistic. Now we started selecting each layer at a time. Make sure that the square in blue is deselected that way your pivot shows up in the square of selection. In this case is the head, so I position my pivot point at the bottom of the neck. In the legs, I will position that pivot point in the top where the hip connects. For the arm, I position the pivot point close to the shoulder. For the tail, I position the pivot point close to the body and the beginning of the tail. And for the body, I will position that pivot point in the center. Since we are done with the pivot points, we create a new layer, a group layer, and we will name it Soho Side View. Now we move all our character layers into that folder to keep our timeline tidy.
since we have all of our layers in the group folder, we could start moving into the hierarchy. Remember to have all of your layers named accordingly because once you started to move them into the hierarchy column, it will be a little bit messy. We will start with the body layer first because the rest of the layers are linked to it. Once you have them all in the column, give it a test by grabbing the character by the body and rotating it to see that every single one is attached to it. Now we are creating a simple background for our animation. Once you're done with your background, we started to move into the animation stage. I'm duplicating my character as a mirror effect for this animation. Now I move them to each corner where I want the animation to start. Now I'm extending my frames in the timeline. I registered the keyframe for frame one. Then I move my character to frame 15 and I record the keyframe for that movement. I repeat the movement for the mirror side. Now we started to animate our limbs and we focus on one at a time. This is a short walking cycle for this animation. I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for the algorithm and thanks for watching. And here is the short animation. Enjoy!